I've been making carbonara for almost 20 years now for John. And so, you make the best ever. Thank you, sweetheart. So every time I make it, I try and add something to it that won't take away from the original. So for the original, we have in the pan for every one pound of pasta, a third of a pound of guanciale, uh, pork cheeks, or pancetta, roll cured meat similar to bacon, but never smoked. And that's diced, small dice, about a quarter inch. Um, about a third of a pound per one pound of pasta. That's in a good coating, about three tablespoons of good olive oil. You render that until it's tender. Now, normally at this point, I just add garlic, because John doesn't eat anything without garlic in it. And we get ready with our egg yolks, six yolks per pound of pasta. We get ready with our egg yolks, and we always whisk them up with a combination of both Parmigiano Reggiano and uh, Pecorino Locatelli Romano. So fat handfuls of each cheese. Today, because we're going into spring and we're trying to think spring, I'm going to add some leeks so we have mild onion flavor to the dish and a little lemon. So lemon and leek are what we're adding to the very traditional base recipe of what carbonara is. So in this pan, we're gonna wilt our leeks and we're going to add, that's bucatini, that's John's favorite. I you love can, bucatini. You can make this with any short or long cut pasta. And then we marry the thinly sliced garlic with our leeks, with our pancetta. Oh my God, honey, you need smell vision on this TV show. I know, right? So to this, we're now going to add some white wine for acidity. So lemon zest goes in with your leeks, then lemon juice can go into your egg and cheese mixture that's waiting for the starchy water. So the bucatini is almost done. We're making carbonara. Today we put a twist on it with some leeks, lemon zest, and lemon juice added to our egg and cheese mixture. These are six egg yolks, one pound of pasta, a third of a pound of pancetta or guanciale, cooking in olive oil with four cloves of garlic, and two leeks. To that, we've got some prepped out parsley to toss at the very end. John's working on salad. For the salad, um, shave your asparagus with a vegetable peeler into these pretty ribbons. And we mix that with baby arugula and tarragon shaved parmigiano and dress it very simply with just lemon juice, olive oil, salt and pepper. Now I'm going to take a few mugfuls of this starchy water and add it to our egg yolks so that they don't scramble. I'm gonna take a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna be tossing the pasta with the sauce right after this. Come right back. What's in the salad you just made, and are you done? We're done. So, when you're making the carbonara, see how this looks creamy? That's not cream, that's just egg yolks and water. See this, see how thick that sauce looks, and it looks like there's a lot of heavy cream in it? There is no cream in carbonara, period, ever. This is starchy cooking water and cheese. We use both Pecorino Romano, because it's a Roman dish, and Parmigiano Reggiano. One is sheep's milk, one is cow's milk. One is buttery and nutty, one is extra tangy and super salty. There we go, honey. Oh my God. I know you don't care about the salad. What salad? This would feed four people or... One me. John. <laughs> Here you go, honey. Oh, this is my favorite, Happy baby. Valentine's Thank Day. You. This is the best gift I could get. 